Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. I own quite a few vintage swatches. I've been collecting them for a while now and I absolutely love them. However, there's a problem that's prevalent in quite a few of them. I'm gonna go through all of mine, but just in a spot check, I think I've already identified three of them that have this issue and the whole time I've owned them, it never even crossed my mind. And in fact, I just realized that I have this problem in more than one of my watches tonight. I was going to do this video because I have a brand new turquoise bay that I just did a video on and how it's working so great. The day after I did that video, it wasn't working so great. So before you buy a vintage swatch, you have to watch this video because apparently this is the weakness in vintage swatches. So let me explain. All right, so this is my brand new turquoise bay that I was talking up in my latest vlog video because I had worn it for a couple days and it was actually keeping time. Unlike my other turquoise bay that when you wear it, it decides to randomly stop working when you take it off and put it on the shelf, then it resumes its accurate timekeeping. This one I wore for a couple days and it seemed great. So I had it sitting on the shelf for a little while and then I decided to wear it because it's so great looking. And I noticed that it was about 10 minutes slow. That is not good. So I popped the crown out, reset the time, put it on my wrist, looked down and noticed that the seconds hand was not moving. And I kind of tapped on it a bit and it started going again. So I took the watch off and was giving it a thorough inspection. I know that most of us watch nerds are very nitpicky and OCD about our watches and I'm that way too. However, I'm also not terribly observant. So there are things that I end up overlooking and this was one of them. So there's a reason that I bought this specific watch because I saw another turquoise bay listing. However, they mentioned that there's some damage to the battery hatch and this listing as you can see, stated explicitly that the battery hatch was in great condition with no blowouts or problems with it. And I've owned a lot of swatches and never even paid attention to the battery hatch unless I'm changing the battery, mainly because I would buy those swatches from a site that used to be called Squiggly and they were always in like new condition visually and they always just kind of worked. I never really had a swatch that would just randomly stop like these turquoise bays. This is the first time I've encountered such a problem with swatches. So I didn't even think to look for this particular problem until this was stopping and I opened up the hatch to double check the connection in there and whatnot. And I put this lid back on and that was when I noticed this. If you can see that right there, this watch actually definitely has a blowout. That little piece there that holds that metal on is completely broken off. And had I been smart enough to look for this when I first got this watch, I could have reached out to the seller and maybe sent it back to him for a refund because they clearly stated that this was not a problem with this watch, and it is. And so I decided to check the other turquoise bay. Maybe that's the problem with that one the whole time. However, here's that watch. And I don't see any blowouts. So I got out my loop and took a closer look. And look at that right there. It's still attached, but it's cracked and just about to fall off. So this watch has the same exact problem. That is not good. So I pulled out another swatch that I purchased on eBay that has so far been running just fine. 
by High Tech Swatch. And it is not doing so well either. So far there's no actual blowouts, but if you can see right in here, if I can get this closer and still have it focus correctly, there's a crack right where all the other swatches are breaking. So this is definitely the weak spot in all of these old swatches. I'm not sure why these hatches had to be situated so close to the lugs where this plastic as it gets brittle over time just cracks. I realize these watches were designed as throwaway watches back in the day. You wear them until they die and then you just purchase another one. But these are such brilliant watches it's sad to have to do that. There really is no other watch out there like a vintage swatch or a modern day swatch that's still using the same design, size, aesthetics, everything. Terrible. But I actually have an idea that might extend the life of these watches. And I think I'm going to use this watch as the guinea pig because I didn't pay a ton for it, especially for a turquoise bay. Sought after models like a turquoise bay usually are more expensive than other old swatches, which are usually fairly reasonable. But this was pretty inexpensive. So I think what I'm going to try and do, and I'm hoping this works, I think I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue, which basically dries kind of like a plastic like this. I'm going to carefully put a glob of it right here and hopefully leave a little opening so that when I unscrew this, this will still come out. And my hope is that I'll be able to actually pry this cap that the metal won't stick to the Gorilla Glue as much as the plastic does. And I'll still be able to work this out of there. We'll see what happens. I'll definitely be applying that while I'm wearing a loop so that I can see exactly what I'm doing in there. But if I can kind of pretend I'm a sculptor and get a glob of it on there that's in the right shape and everything, still leaving an opening, I can let it dry and see if I can work this hatch out after it's been dried. If I can't get the hatch out, then, well, I'm out the small amount of money that I paid for this watch. And I'll probably be hunting for another turquoise bay at some point. However, if this solution does work, I'll be able to fill in the crack that's in my high-tech swatch. I'll be able to apply some to pieces like my other turquoise bay, where they're just about to break off. I can kind of use this to extend their life a bit longer. Because once these break off, there really isn't anything you can do about it. This hatch has to be held on by something. And I'm pretty sure sticking some scotch tape back here isn't really going to hold that in place. At least enough to keep the watch running. The crazy thing is, I just found out about the hatch thing yesterday. And I just found out that it's super prevalent tonight right before filming this. I'm still kind of a bit in shock. Crazy. So there you have it. When you're shopping for older swatches, definitely keep your eyes open for this. Thanks for watching.